Good afternoon, beautiful souls. It is Tuesday, August 10th, and I'm a little late with today's message, but better late than never. So going right in, today we have the scale, and I feel like this is very important for each and every one of you, and myself included, whereas we just went through intentions and this big transformation, um, there's a lot of options in our lives right now and we're having to make some choices and spirit is really going to help us navigate um, these new waters. So we have keywords, balance, moderation, prudence, thoughtfulness, and fairness. Incantation, I weigh the options that please my soul. And the tarot cards it relates to is the justice card and the Six of Pentacles. The history of the scale symbol. The scale is symbolic of equilibrium and coming into balance. It represents harmony within divine truth. The scale is associated with moderation, temperance, and prudence, weighing action against the possible outcome and allowing the flow of possibility. When the scale is paired with a sword, it represents the prevailing of justice. In today's Oracle message, as options are constantly and abundantly flowing to me, I give myself permission to allow my soul to lead. If I do not see an array of options, I allow myself to slow down, trusting that one will appear in my serenity. Surrendering is often one of the biggest challenges that we face in life as humans, and surrendering to the idea that things are always working out for us can be one of the hardest things to trust. The stronger the connection I have with self energy is easier to trust in its flow. It is my internal belief system, the not me that disconnects me from my act of surrender and believes things should be different. As I lean into and find my balance with the ebb and flow of spirit, calmness enters my system. From this place, internal trust with my surrender builds and I see things unfolding just are they as meant to be. As I check in and weigh and consider my options, choices, and obligations, I choose to prioritize time for my internal harmony and balance. The stronger my light is within my energy field, it works in my favor as my intentions will smoothly balance my emotions. And one of the biggest things that we talk about a lot is surrendering. Now, surrendering does not mean to give up, to give in. It doesn't mean saying, I can't do this. Um, it, it's not like throwing in the towel. What surrendering is, is realizing that we can't always do everything on our own and opening ourselves up to invite the universe and spirit to help us because just like our angels sit on the sidelines until we ask for their help or call on them, it's the same with the universe and with spirit. You have to surrender and know that you don't have to do it by yourself is really what that means. Now, I am also being faced with choices and options as well as each and every one of you. Um, like I was saying the other day, I was so scatterbrained. It's because I have so much going on. There's so many options, so many choices. So how do we decide, guys? Well, you choose what brings you peace. The choice, that the option that will bring you peace and not anxiety is the way to go. That is the way that your soul wants to go. This is a highly intuitive time for each of you that are listening to this. Spirit is telling me that. And once you find that, that choice that brings you this calm, that, that brings you this silence within, that, that feels not just safe, but it feels you feel the love in it, you feel the love in this choice for your soul, then it's time to make a plan, make an action plan so you can, you know, really start taking the steps to, to go down this path that you've chosen. And, um, sometimes there is no right or wrong answer, right? So don't feel like, um, Sometimes there is, you know, sometimes there is a, a best choice and a not best, but sometimes it's not. And it really just comes down to um, what makes your soul sing, what is best for the highest good of you. And what else do we have here today? 
I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. And guys, this is very powerful because so many times to each and every one of you, as well as myself, make choices on this scale out of fear. We choose, we go with the anxiety and we go with the fear. And you know what spirit is telling us today? The universe is saying it's okay sometimes that, you know, we do make these choices out of fear because we get to choose again and then we get to choose love, right? We get to, we get to really balance that out and we get to, we get to re, we, there's never a choice that's set in stone forever, you know? And, and if you mess up, you make a mistake, you make a choice out of fear, out of anxiety, it's, you, you can do it again. You can re-choose, you can choose love, you can choose that peace and harmony that we were talking about. So it's okay if you start to go down the path that was fear, but it's never too late to turn around and go down the path of love, okay? I love this so much. It's a very beautiful message today. And I'm also going to go ahead and do a little angel message. So today's angel message is doing is a natural part of life but so is being once you've come to an ending be it a project relationship or goal it's just as important for you to reflect on what has happened instead of rushing into the next thing take your time to rejoice and celebrate sometimes you must wait patiently until your next steps appear and if you saw my post last night that says you can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one so I, you know, I explained how I got rid of so much stuff the other day, so many things. I, I keep saying stuff. There were items. There were um, so many things that I donated and got rid of. But I took the time with each item to really just be in that moment, bring myself back, and, and appreciate it for what it was, whether it brought me pain and taught me a lesson, whether it brought me love and helped me feel more whole, and then I could release it. But I definitely sat with it for a moment. And then I went ahead and I asked you all to let go of something you don't need this week. Like I said, an item that right, might remind you of a not so good memory or something that you needed as a former version of yourself that you no longer need. And this directly correlates to this angel message to me because it's it's coming to an ending. It's um, And it's important to reflect on what happened as you're letting this stuff go before you rush into the next thing because yes we have to you know out with the old in with the new but if you out with the old and you don't take a moment to to internalize it to reflect it and to feel it then even if you're letting go of the object or the relationship you're still hanging on to something so it's important to really feel it all the way through and then you can let it go in then something new and, and more beautiful maybe not more beautiful but something else that is wonderful is going to come into your life so the affirmation of the day is endings are healthy and necessary although i might not yet understand their positive effects I am comfortable in the unknown until I receive my next steps. Guys, listen to that. I am comfortable in the unknown until I receive my next steps. And isn't the unknown wicked super scary? Like the unknown can be very, it fills you with fear. And that's when we make choices out of fear because the unknown, that's why a lot of people, you know, don't, um, they might believe in the spirit world, but they don't like to tap into it because it's the unknown and it's fearful something I wish that I mentioned the other day when we we're talking about manifesting your dreams and setting intentions if you don't know where you want to be in one to five years you don't know what intentions what what you want to manifest in your life that is okay because you know what I do when I have moments like that where I'm just unsure of what next steps I should take I just literally ask spirit I say I intend to follow the path that my soul chose for me, the path that 
my soul blueprinted for me when I came down to this earthly realm. I intend to follow this path whether I know what it is or not because I trust in the unknown that it is in the end for my highest good. And then you can just ask for guidance. If you're unsure of what you want to set intentions for in your life, ask for signs and messages, ask for guidance, and then just intend to follow that soul path that your very soul has laid out for you before we even came here. So today's angel number is number nine. The energy of the angelic number nine supports endings. Learn from what is ending and use it to guide you in a new phase that is on the horizon. So a lot of you are coming to the end of a cycle, the end of a phase. And I'm super excited to see, you know, the end can be scary. It can be painful. We don't know what's going on. It could have been traumatic, but we're almost there, guys. Yesterday was the star. So some of you were already at your, your 9 and 10, but there's still some of you that are, are still getting to that star, still working through that tower moment and, and getting back into that hope. And then now we're making decisions, powerful decisions on how we want to rebuild our tower, how we can put um, stronger foundations on the tower that we build. And then action steps for today. Self-reflection is important today. Let your heart be your guide as you honestly look at what is ending and how it has helped you grow. Journal what you feel because the reason for the ending might not yet be evident. And I just, I love that. <laughs> I, this is just, it, it's a beautiful message today. All right, guys. So I hope that you found some inspiration and guidance in today's message. As always, I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you have a super awesome rest of your day. Love, light, and blessings. Bye.